Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get 5.1 surround sound working on Windows 10 and Windows 8 with Adobe Digital. Now, I would first like to state that I don't know the legality of this, so, you know, we're just going to go with it. Anyway, what's happening and why ain't my 5.1 working with my Windows setup through Arc or Optical? Well, What's happening is, by default, Windows 10 and Windows 8 output a default codec called PCM 0, well, 2.00. And basically what this is, is it's a stereo high quality output. So you're getting left, right, and center. Now, center is split off from the left and right channels to create, kind of like, obviously, a center. It will also show up in your configurator if you're using um, ARC over HDMI as a 5.1 system. I've already got all these mods installed so it's not exactly showing up. But what will happen is when you play the rear surround sound speakers that are either not work at all or they play through the front speakers or both will play at once, the front and back. What's happening is the front speakers are playing that sound through the rear speakers and it's acting like fake upsampled uh, 5.1. Also your sub won't work. So how do we fix this? Well we've got to force Windows to use Dolby Digital's codecs. And if I press on my display quickly, down here you see my display says 00. zero. This is because no codecs are currently being, being applied or decoded. So I open up my display for sound and I scroll down to the bottom where I have my optical hooked up. This tutorial will work for both optical and uh, arc, so don't worry. You can see I have under advanced Adobe Digital Set. So this is forcing my windows to output Adobe Digital codecs. So if I click test, you see my box is saying DD Adobe Digital three front channels for left, right, center, two rear channels for the left, right, rear, and one channel for the sub. This is how it should be. Now yours won't be like this, and you won't even see this option. So how do we get this working? So firstly, you're gonna to need to download what's in the description. You're gonna want this tool and this program here. Then, hold shift, press the power button down here, click restart while holding shift. This should bring you to an advanced menu. I'm going to pause this until it pops up. Alright, from this menu, go troubleshoot, go advanced options, and start settings, and then restart. Now, in this menu, click 7, disable driver signature enforcement. You're going to want to re-enable this at a later time. So, we're going to press, I'm just going to hit enter, because I've already done this. You press the same key, obviously. Now, with the files you downloaded from my mega link, you will have all this. Ignore these two, they're only if you need older files. You want this one and Oppo driver. So open up Oppo driver and you'll just get the RAR. Uh, extract that and you'll get x86 and 32 bit, which is x86, sorry, and 64 bit, it's obviously 64 bit. So I'm going to run the driver setup and it's going to start. And I'm going to click install and then under here is always need to be ticked. Now if we scroll down we can install D DTS for DTS surround sound but personally I recommend Dolby Digital which we install by installing the Dolby PCEE4 driver. Select this and then click next and install. Now this will install both the driver and the configurator tool. Now Windows may freak the fuck out and your antivirus may go to shit. Also your sound driver will completely disappear and get a red cross for it, and it'll blink and come back. So if your antivirus flags this as a virus, trust me, it's really not. It's a false positive and you're perfectly fine. You just need to uh, go to your virus protection and allow the threat. So allow or allow on device. Once you've done that, you will now notice if you go to your sound driver, it is labeled as Dolby Home Theater. At this point, 
you want to run the Dolby Home Theatre setup. Just install this one, go for the install process, and it'll give you a program what looks like this. This allows you to tune your surround sound, equalize your sync profile, and enhance your general sound. Now, if that didn't work, you can force the driver through the configurator as so. So, select your audio device, for example, my optical. Then I'm going to go to pro.config tool and I'm going to select Dolby Home Theater V4 or DTS, whatever, if you're using that and get that working. Then you click apply. You notice the devices will disappear and it should have finished applying in a second. With that, it will force the devices to use uh, Doobie's codex. So now we have to go to your properties of the device, go to advanced and enable Dolby Digital. This must be ticked. None of this should be selected, only Dolby Digital. Click apply and now if we test it, you will hear sound. Also when you test it, you'll notice that your receiver will indicate that it is running Dolby Digital. Now, we can go to a surround sound test. So if I go to my history quickly, I can load up a 5.1 surround sound test. Center, right, right surround, left surround, once again, left, center, right, right surround, left surround. And that proves 5.1 is functioning. All links will be in the description. If you need any help, please contact me on my Discord server or on my Discord DMs. You're welcome. This should fix all your issues. And catch you another time. I'm going to go play me some Battlefield.